The story of an underground railroad that wasn't started by Harriet Tubman for runaway slaves headed north. Mixed race families named Jackson and Weber were among those who helped them go south to Mexico. The route was shorter, but the terrain more treacherous. Jesse Degollado tells us it ended at the Rio Grande with just a ferry ride to freedom. It's the title of a documentary produced by the University of Texas in the Rio Grande Valley. Just over my shoulder is Mexico. Freedom or protection? The South Texas border to this day holds legendary status across the U.S. Yet it also has a little known history involving runaway slaves and mixed race families fleeing the South before the Civil War. Escape was just a ferry ride across the Rio Grande into Mexico. Just a ferry ride to freedom, a documentary by Nick Maddox and Roseanne Basha Garza tells a dramatic story of mixed race couples who helped them, the slave catchers who wanted them back, and those who went to slave free Mexico or stayed here to start new lives. They and many of their descendants are buried in the valley. Their ancestors had braved unforgiving terrain in the strip between the Nueces River and the Rio Grande that undocumented immigrants still encounter heading north. It was just amazing to, to hear that uh, piece of history happen right here. This Underground Railroad isn't the one most learn about in school. I didn't know that this place existed before, <laughs> before I, I got down here. Having come from Washington, D.C. 13 years ago, the pastor with a love of history and community involvement was approached by an anthropologist at UTRGV who'd already done more than a decade of research into its history. It's like a treasure hunt, really. They're running, they're hiding, they're ferry rides into Mexico, all well-kept secrets, no records to be found. So she relied on oral history with their descendants. The most surprising to me was, you know, the racial aspect and the racial makeup of the people down here. What most impressed Maddox, he says, was the integrity and courage of those who'd already settled here. They had a choice, he says. Listen, we're just going to play it safe. But they didn't do that. They did what was right. They, they you know, they looked out for other families. They helped other people. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News. Not only do we have a link to the documentary on our website at KSAT.com, we also have links to a travel guide you can follow, Blue and Gray on the Border, the Rio Grande Valley Civil War Trail, as well as a book, The Civil War on the Rio Grande. Again, that's all available right now on KSAT.com.